Okay, we're going to look at how to add media files to a media library. So this could be something like sermons or maybe a collection of music, anything audio, video, uh, or, or even just uh, document files as well. Now, if you have a site with Final Web, you might already have a media library on your home page and elsewhere throughout the site, but I'm going to first show you uh, this one does not. So if you don't have one, this will show you real quick how to add it. Uh, first, I'm going to create a group by clicking Add Group. I'm going, to choose, I'm going to choose an empty group. We'll go with standard. And it's going to add a group down at the bottom of my page where I can begin to add content. So now I'm going to go ahead and click the Add Section button there and choose a media library. Now there are different types of layouts that I can use. If it's something that's audio and video in nature, I like to use the block layout because it shows a thumbnail of, uh, of the file. If, uh, if it's more document oriented, I like to use a list. But you could use either for or. It's, uh, it's up to you. It's just a preference. So I'm going to choose block layout for now. And it asks me which library I want to link this section to. I'm going to go ahead and make a new library. And I'll call it sermons. I'll save that and add that section to my page. So I now have an active library on my page. If I want to begin adding files here, I hover over the library and I get a group of icons related to this library. This one right here, the pencil icon, is to edit my media library, and that's the one I want. So I'm going to click on that, and then down in the corner I've got an option to add a file. So I'll go ahead and click there, and I can choose from a local file on my hard disk, I can choose a file that's already existing on the server, or I can choose a stock file. It's probably not something you're going to do for a, um, a media library, but most likely you're going to be choosing a local file. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click choose a local file, one that's on my hard drive, and I've got a sermon file right here. So I'm going to double click that to upload it. And it's going to assume the file name as my title up here, but I'm going to put a friendly title in. So I'm going to call it in the beginning was the word. So I've got my title and I've got my file uploaded and now I'm going to click this option to create an add. So this will create a library record and add this file into it. Now I can add different details to this sermon here. So for my subtitle I might put for instance John 1 1 through 14. And I could type a text description of this if I wanted. I can also put the speaker name and uh, other pertinent information. Over here on the side, I've got an option to add categories, tags. I can make this file a part of a series. So if I'm doing a sermon series, I can add this here. And I can also add related files. So if I want to add, for instance, PDF notes or a Word doc uh, of, of uh, like the printed version of the sermon, I could add this here as well and they'd be all in one place. I'm not going to do that right now, but I am going to change the thumbnail for the file. So I'm going to click on this little edit icon and I'll choose a stock file for this. And since we're talking about Creation, I'll use maybe a picture of the world. I'll select this one here. So I'll add that to my file and I'm ready to save it. Now I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And my file is now added to the library. I'll click Save one more time so we can see what it looks like on the actual page. If I want to make a change to that, I made a mistake, or I want to just change things up a little bit, I can click on Edit Media Library and I can just click on the file to get back into it and adjust anything that I need. So that is how you add a file to a media library.